Hi, uh, hi, this is <laughs> just some guys, uh, I am here with, uh, Toy, the turtle, and, um, we are here to basically do a very special Assassin's Creed free commentary, because it should appear a day before or a day after, depending on when we upload this video. <laughs> right now, it's I about two weeks in the I, I got... No, no, it's like a week. Uh, I don't, so I don't from, know. So I we, can't count dates. So I was doing volunteering all the time. When you volunteer, you lose <laughs> reality. <laughs> well, it's a week from tomorrow. Okay. Well, we could do it tomorrow or something if you want to. Oh, crap. Um, That's disgusting. No, I just realized it's. I think it's going to cut us off here in a second, but I'm just going to resume after that. Okay, and it sounds like um, fun. Why would it cut, it, cut uh, us off to Because of what I just did right here. Hold well, on. well. And we'll see what happens. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Are we back? Yeah, we're back. Alright, alright. Don't mess up again. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, so, uh, we w we're going to be talking a little bit about Assassin's Creed 3, but at the moment I kind of wanted to, uh, bring up Connor's, Connor and your new project. What yeah, is it? It's most, I guess it's mostly Connor's project, but I... All right, now, play I think them. the very important question that I would like to know is, is Connor going to forget how to count to three? What, what, what do you mean? He it's oh, because, he like, he does he makes, Lazy he Block, he does two. Minecraft, and then he just stops. <laughs> he, wait, you mean, wait, he starts doing, he does two of something? Well, like, something. more than two, maybe, I don't <laughs> like know, I forget three. to count. <laughs> it's just like, um, but he doesn't, <coughs> he always seems to be the kind of guy that's like, let me do this for a little bit. Now let me quit. <laughs> huh? Well, I do that, but uh, the only explanation I can offer for that is he's te it's like testing the waters, basically, and yeah. he realizes that it doesn't work out as well as he it, as, as well as, he, as well as he'd hoped. Um, but no, he's got we've I we did some we recorded something like two hours of footage, and so he's breaking that up into. Episode. Okay. Honestly, I totally forgot. Now he's waiting on me for the third episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I was like tweaking the audio for it or something. Yeah. Well, look. I'm, I gotta say, I actually kind of like this approach. Yeah. And it's like. Um, <laughs> I'm not as funny as I hoped I would be. Well, like you barely. He does speak. a good job. <laughs> Yeah, C Cody probably makes more fun. Do you have to worry later. about, like, not crossing because Cody's in there, or do you huh? not care either uh, way? I'm not sure I really care. I, I don't do it very much, but um, the whole objective was to not, to do it as little as possible ah, right. in in these videos. And Is Connor, that all Connor, objectives? Connor obviously does it really bad. I don't yeah. do it very much. And... and like to keep Cody's ears safe, I guess. Uh, Doesn't yeah. really matter because is that is that why you won't let him do one of these? What one of these? Yeah. No, I don't think it would make any sense to have him do this. Actually, you know, to be honest, it <laughs> would probably make sense to have him do this one in particular. Although he's been paying more attention to uh, Halo Four than he has Assassin's Creed. Ah, okay. He could probably offer some stuff if you wanted me to bring. Him. I just, certain topics we would go over, or certain things that you would say, <laughs> I don't want him to hear, so. What about certain things you would say? I don't say certain <laughs> things I don't want him to hear. <coughs> okay, uh, well, anyway, what was that? The plug for, <laughs> when uh, you should watch Connor's thing, uh, our yes. friend Connor. Like, uh, like we said before, link in the with, uh, description the, or something. With the Minecraft that he was doing, I gave him a plug, and it's like, if you really like Troy, then you should watch uh, Connor's video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, same thing, if you if you really like Troy, then go ahead and watch <laughs> Connor's videos. Yeah, um, the, the, I think this time around, these ones are a little bit better. I'll probably do the video response to one of uh, his Let's Plays as well, if this oh, okay. gets enough views. Which, by the way, you know what, I'll try doing more video responses, that way I could hold in some more views. <laughs> <laughs> Share your subscribers. Yeah, probably nobody would like me, but that's okay. <laughs> all right. All 50 views. Right. And tw 20 <laughs> viewers. <laughs> regular viewers. Well, like, Connor gained two subscribers for the first part of the video, though. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Really Which I would content. gain two subscribers for each one of my I videos. have more subscribers than anyone, and that's just because I post five-second pony videos. Yeah, maybe I should do that. <laughs>
Like, I'm gonna cancel <laughs> just some guys after this, I and it would just be 10 <laughs> second <laughs> probably videos. Idea. Honestly, I should, I should probably just start making more video and like vlog things and putting them on my channel. Well, you do, but then you unlist them. them. Directing them to hit. Well, those are for certain <laughs> groups of people, that's why. It's not like I don't I want subscribers to see them. It's well, not that's because like you were in my room and looked yeah. at my videos. Go get the great thing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I made another one too. Really? But you Can don't I get watch to it? Maybe. <laughs> um, maybe. But yes, maybe. I'll just video secretly send the link to every one of my subscribers. <laughs> of you I will singing. murder your family. <laughs> I don't have a family. I, yes, you do. <laughs> Alright, now let's get to uh, the main <laughs> topic at hand. Five Assa minutes of not Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. Um, yeah. First thing first, we should uh, do what Doug Walker would do and just go through uh, all the other games, but he does the movies. Um, <laughs> what, what's your opinion on the first game, just in general? Um, I liked it, but I found it very repetitive, and I think that's what uh, turned a lot of people off of it. But um, I, I guess when Assassin's Creed 2 came around and the fact that every... Uh, Everyone, man or woman, has a crush on Ezio. <laughs> uh, I have a crush the second on him too. Game, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the second game was just like brilliant in yeah. like every a, aspect. For what? What at the time? What when? What was the first game made? Two thousand six. Like it was just two thousand seven. Yeah, I think. I think it was just like in the era of the. Next um, I heard so many. Yeah, I heard. I, I really liked some of the, like I guess the gameplay. Features, but, uh, yeah, but like somebody I heard someone describe it as like it's a tech demo because you just it's like here's this cool thing now you do that same thing every five minutes for you know 15 hours yeah. <laughs> and mm. or the second one then definitely didn't feel I like that. kind of like we to think to of on Assassin's the Creed one as basically like a tutorial for the rest of the series. <laughs> kind of. Because it's my, like, um, my the favorite Assassin's Creed part. 1 was tough, but it's like, um, well, then I got right. used to the controls, I learned how to uh, reverse things, and then I needed to do the same thing for Assassin's Creed 2, and I breezed through it. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Um, well, what were you so saying? I, to be honest, I actually liked the last two or three hours of the game, because the way that I had done it was... Uh, well, I want to try not to do spoilers, but there's like a... Yeah, um, or I just guess like, say, I mean, I'm not sure if you'll like completely agree with this, but like, through past games, do you think it's okay to spoil it a little bit? Yeah, well, I mean, considering it's, what, five years old now? Yeah. Um, it's... <sighs> the part I was at, you made me lose my train of thought. <laughs> the part I was at, when I had about three hours left, was... Um, I had basically been systematically going through all the cities in order of, it's hard to explain, like it was like, one, two, three, four, and then you unlock those cities again, but you have to assassinate somebody different in those cities, so I just went one, two, three, four, right? So like the third time I went one, two, three, and then four is set in, or it might have only been three cities, I don't remember, but the last one was set in um, a place that there was like a dock kind of so there was just a lot of water around and in this one you couldn't swim I don't know why <laughs> but <laughs> because Matt like all great video game characters and games, cannot swim um, it kind of it, I liked um, the, char the character that I was going after to assassinate and the fact that um, trying to avoid the water kind of added um, a different aspect to the gameplay I guess and then it began the the ending of the story, which is basically the beginning of it explaining that ev there's like weird, some kind of like alien stuff at play. Were you um, also bothered but by the voice I actor of at the time? Yes. Yeah. I didn't understand that at all, that he sounded like yeah, just um, some generic I think white like guy. I think somebody on was. the comments was like, well, uh, the only reason why Altaio actually has an American a accent is to possibly help Desmond understand it. Like, well, in if that was the case, then wouldn't everybody else have American yeah. accents? Because I would believe it more if everybody else had an American accent. <laughs> I understood accent. Ezio just Yeah, fine. but it's like, um, where, like, they gave Altair an accent in Revelation, which was even more confusing to me. It's like, I haven't doesn't he, I haven't isn't he American? Yet. I haven't heard him yet, because I haven't yeah. finished, uh, I had, Revelations is the one that I started and have not finished yet. 
That yeah, was recently, okay. actually. Um, so, yeah. I guess you could basically just qualify Brotherhood and Revelations as expansions for two. And um, from what I've played of Revelations, it does some cool things. But um, to be honest, I still think the second game was like the best. Yeah. Um, but like um, of them, so. Spencer said that like uh, it's basically what well, you also stated that they were just add-ons, but. Spencer gave his opinion on how he was basically getting tired of the series because it was playing the same game over again. Yeah, that's three does not look like. Yeah, exactly. three is like completely it's, different. It keeps yeah, it keeps Assassin's Creed at I mean, like, heart. Even which Assassin's is what Creed One like, was very similar to Assassin's Creed Two in a way. The only thing that I really think was new was the double blade, and that was it. Yeah, uh, most of the differences were really small. Um, or like but swimming I thought as it, well. Yeah, or, yeah. <laughs> I thought that they fixed most of the things I had a problem with in the first one. So. Um, yeah, it's like an in brother. Yeah, brotherhood. The only brotherhood in and the revelations. They like they. Yeah, revelations changed the controls. Brotherhood made the combat too easy. Um, There's just lots of weird things I didn't like. Well. Um, Three, they're still kind of doing a thing that makes the combat really easy, but um, I don't know. I'm hoping they just execute it better this time around. It seems like once you end Brotherhood and Revelations, once you can yeah. finally pull off a kill, you just keep mashing the attack button and point at people. And yeah, that. that I think that's the Doku mode. Um, it's only like a special thing. But like, um, if you like, uh, if you. At least this is what I noticed. When I successfully get a kill, I basically just keep on attacking and it keeps slashing people's throats until somebody will block me. Right. Which takes a while. <laughs> oh, it's nearly it's impossible. Just, like, the only know. way somebody will block me is if I accidentally turn in the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> um. um, but, yeah, like, uh... I guess I kind of agree with Spencer that, like, the Assassin's Creed 2 was kind of getting tired out in a way. It's like, um, I mean, it's, it could have, like, uh, ended, well, not went as long, I guess. I mean, and in Revelations, it's like I said, they didn't really change the control, they didn't really change the gameplay, they just changed the control, which kind of fucked with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, um, because... For the PlayStation 3, uh, you know how synchronized was Triangle? Mm -hmm. They made that your gun. <laughs> and it's like oh, I remember. Yeah, I remember and like um, I would talk to people using Triangle too. I would accidentally shoot them. <laughs> 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 like there was a time well, that yeah, they're making yeah. it way different for. Uh, yeah, um, like that's understandable, and I'm expecting that. But for Revelations, I did it. There was a time right. that I would like on the one of the highest towers. And I pressed triangle, my gun went off, I thought I was getting attacked, and then I just jumped off. <laughs> and, and, like, I didn't hit the haystack, I died. <laughs> right. So it killed me. And it's like, I think that was kind of a negative, in my opinion, how they just basically just treat the controls like that. Yeah. They needed to I mean, like, I'm not sure if you had that you problem either. Not yet. But I have noticed, like, when you look up in the corner and it tells you, like, this, you yeah. press this button to do this. I was like, wait a minute, that's not what it did last time. <laughs> um, also, another thing that's new, I'm not sure that's if you got to it, but random muggings. Well, somebody will try to kill you, and it's more of a jump scale. They literally come from the, from the buildings, jump on top of you, and attack you. And it's just one post. And that's kind of, that's more interesting than the guy that yeah. just comes and pickpockets you, but no, I haven't had that happen yet. Yeah. They're like, they're pickpocketers too. And I guess another problem with the Revelations is they got rid of the posters. So you have, oh yeah, so you yeah. can, that, so you either it's an easy to way to get rid of 25% or whatever. Yeah. Cody told me that you have to like bribe or kill somebody. Yeah, bribe or kill somebody. The guy, bribe was always easier to find. And the guys who will who you have the to kill government all, officials or whatever, you know, and it's like and it sucks. I, like, I mean, I guess they were like, well, posters are way too easy. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think I think I liked uh, Assassin's Creed Two and Brotherhood fairly equally. 
uh, one I did like a little bit more than the other. I mean, like, it's pretty much just the storyline. The epic storyline. I didn't really like what happened in 3. Not even the ending. 3? Brotherhood, do you mean? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Brotherhood, sorry. Um, not, not like, not the ending specifically. I just couldn't get into the story or the characters, really. It was kind of just, like, um, it was filler explaining what Ezio was doing and then, like, tried to add depth to that's Desmond me. and the rest of his friends and it just didn't really go anywhere. You, didn't you tell me you skipped out on the re-meeting them so you missed basically all the cutscenes? You mean when you exit yeah, the end or whatever? I, no, I did it a couple times, but I was afraid that I had missed some things. I wasn't sure. You probably did. <laughs> but like, I didn't well, read I showed the, you the I one thing, the uh, how you doing, I'll tell you kind of thing. Uh, what's the matter, you, I'll tell you. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, remember the, when I showed you... Like, uh, when you left the Animus, you went to go talk to Altair. Oh, yeah, what's the matter, you? <laughs> That's racist. You're racist. <laughs> Comedy. That was good. But, like, I mean, like, that, that reminded me, the one thing that I liked about the Assassin's Creed, uh, Assassin's Creed 2 series was a comic relief. It's always important to have comic relief in a game. And it's like, Ezio is a very funny lovable character. He's actually lovable and Altair was a dick. You know, it's like, um, because I liked Ezio much more than Altair. I connected with uh, uh, Ezio more. And there was a point that I kind of wanted Altair to suffer. <laughs> you know? Well, in the first game, he didn't seem like he even really had a character that was, that was my biggest problem. Yeah. So, that's probably another reason why I didn't like the first one. Like like um, there wasn't, there wasn't so any characters. <laughs> Revelation was kind of confusing because, like, you play him in a... And there were no one. subtitles. Yeah, yeah that, I also <laughs> hated the first that. One. I, I kind of hated that. It's like, because... Makes it easier for me to follow. It's kind of a funny game. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, it's hard to understand what they're saying. But, like, um, in Revelations, our tales kind of respected. And, well... That does that kind of makes sense, but it kind of doesn't. Well, we didn't see yeah. the rest of Altair's life. Yeah, but like you go, no, you do. Um, I don't really. Well, no, I mean yeah. in the first game. Oh, oh yeah. You don't see it in the first game. Well, I I haven't played Revelation yet, so. Yeah. What? <laughs> uh, <I laughs> don't spoil anything for me. Well, like there's honestly, I mean, like there's nothing to spoil. I mean, what are your expectations right now? What do you I, think the ending's I, gonna be? I have no idea. Uh, you probably do, but like, <laughs> I mean, like, it's because it says in the title, it's basically the end story of Ezio and Altair together. Right. So, and then you move to Connor, so that, that's basically the end. This kind of segues into the next <laughs> topic. <laughs> Yay! What, um, what part does Desmond play in the saga, and where is he going from here? I don't really know what to say about that. Um, I don't. But like we could, we could basically stop off with Brotherhood because there's not really much to say. I mean, like uh, I don't think it's a spoiler that I tell you that he does get out of there. It's not. I mean, like, but like I mean, if we can talk, Desmond? yeah, okay. Desmond. But if we can talk about like the whole that thing, thing that happened in <laughs> Brotherhood, I think we could go from there. Um, okay, from those who like, I guess we could just tell people to assumingly skip a few minutes ahead if they haven't <laughs> played Brotherhood. But, like, Desmond, who loves Lucy, stabs her. Hi, Jake. <laughs> hey, Laura. Hi. What? Jake, over here. What? what? Do you want? How many light years is the sun from Earth? I don't know. <laughs> you should know that. Figure it out. And what? Use the internet. The internet sucks. You're bad at asking the internet questions. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a cameo from Cody Welfring. <laughs> <laughs> his name's Jake. <laughs> I mean, no, his name's really Cody. But his evil twin is Jake. What were we saying? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. You were um, saying something about Brotherhood. I was oh like, yeah. We should uh, just move on to the part about Desmond. Yeah, Desmond stabs Lucy. Be 
God of reason that I still don't understand. Because <laughs> the aliens possessed him and because they thought she like was going to do something did, bad? I don't even know. Well, like, it. um, there were rumors that she could have been a Templar. Which I guess could have been possible, but now we So it doesn't know. explain this in Revelation? Not really. I think it's going to explain it more in free because from my understanding, if you go, she, they so eventually she was like back. a double, double agent. <laughs> yeah, well, like um, triple I, agent. <laughs> I think well, like um, I'm not sure if you got to the part where they kind of kick you out and you're just walking around as Desmond, but you were here with Sean and Rebecca and uh, William who talking basically. And and he plays yeah. Discord. Hmm? He plays Discord from My Little Pony. <laughs> nice. Wait, and who does? Some, and some other things. Uh, whatever the other guy is. William? I guess. Yeah. He was the new guy in Revelations, apparently. Um, yeah. I just heard his voice. I don't even know his character. Uh, his name is William Miles. If you check the email, you would see emails from him every now and then. I but can't check the emails because I'm yeah. stuck in limbo. <laughs> no, like, bro, like, in Brotherhood. Oh. Yeah, um, but, like, I don't, again, I don't think I'm giving much away. I'm not getting being anything away, because his last name is Miles, his uh, I think he's Desmond's father. That's weird. Um, but... Also, Ma oh, yeah. Miles. Yeah. That um, would make sense. Yeah, but it's like, um, Those William and Rebecca are trying to get him out, but Sean hates him. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, I noticed that's, that. That's what from I noticed. And I think we're going to, like, get more involved with that. In Wait, the Sean hates three. William or Sean hates Desmond? Desmond, I think. Why? Because he killed Lucy. <laughs> like what? Did he have a secret crush on Lucy? I don't know. Well, he like, talks... They, it's just he, like it's... They flirt I don't Rebecca think he, and him I don't flirt think he actually all the time. said, um, I hate Desmond, but I think it's kind of implied that he... Does well, it's not even his fault. Yeah, they saw it. He was standing here, and then he teleported over here, and they both fell over. He passed out. She was bleeding. <laughs> did when it's when you were about to kill, kill, were you also in your mind thinking, "I had the time of my life"? <laughs> no. I thought what? I thought like maybe this was me, but I thought if I did the right thing, I would have kissed her. <laughs> but I didn't. <laughs> How do you do these things? I don't know. Is there actually a right way to kiss Lucy? No. I I'm pretty sure you to force um, you to stab her. I think, but like Desmond will eventually get out in the real world and it's like, it's kind of questionable on how he's going to react with Rebecca and Sean. I mean, like, I think if it was more realistic, one of them would kind of have dark feelings towards him? I don't know. You would guess that's Sean then. I mean like Sean seems like that kind of black guy. But Sean is an awesome character, I gotta say. I like him. I mean like, did you know he wrote Yes Man, <coughs> the movie? <laughs> what? He uh, is a writer of, of the Jim Carrey movie. The guy movie, that did yes the voice? Man. No, he actually wrote Yes Man. No, the guy who did the voice. Uh, of Sean, yes. Wait, is that the, is that, um... He's a... Uh, Either British comedian name. slash writer. I don't know his name, but he actually looks like Sean. Kay. I forgot his name, That's but weird. he actually does look like Sean. I don't know. Which, by the way, nice little trivia thing. All of the characters look actually look like they were uh, voice actors. I don't. I remember Nolan North not looking like that. But my other problem is I don't know if this has to do with the f like. If his face is combined with Ezio's and Altair's, but Desmond in that world, that weird place that he's in, he doesn't look yeah. anything like Desmond. Did you notice that? Who doesn't? Desmond. He doesn't look like Desmond in <laughs> Revelations. <laughs> yeah, I kind of noticed that. Why? <laughs> Why Limbo does some look? weird things to <laughs> you, man. Weird things to your face. I mean, have you ever been in Limbo no. before? You would have hair. <laughs> Probably. Um, yeah, uh, and I, well, like, um, an idea that I kind of had is, like, people are getting slightly tired of Desmond. Uh, I talked about this before, it's like, um, how they, how they basically want Desmond's character to be killed off, but in that case, if you want Assassin's Creed 4, then where would you go? Because Desmond is the main it character. It had to be he's from somebody host. else's So I, I think I, that's um, the biggest problem. It's yeah. like he's just like a vessel now for yeah. the well, other um, characters. I remember story. making a comment, and it's like basically explaining why Desmond 
shouldn't go and I got a film and I liked and then I got a reply it's like um like I was like who could possibly replace Desmond and then I got a reply and it's like well his son and then I thought about it it's like since when did Desmond have a son? <laughs> <laughs> if he had a son. If like if he had a son absolutely but um other than that no I don't see it happening I mean like he killed out he killed off his one and only well, love interest. So I don't know how three is gonna I'm not sure it's squeaky. I don't know how three is gonna play out. But um I assume that at some point it's going to, you know, cross over into the future or like yeah. now or whatever you wanna call it. Um, did you um, see that so trailer that, that Kano posted? On Spat maybe? No. no. Uh it's the Desmond trailer. And oh. basically kind of uh, it's William's ba it's William basically explaining his storyline. Uh, I don't really understand it still. I mean, like, um, I, I heard from Comic-Con that Desmond will actually have a bigger character to, uh, portray in Assassin's Creed 3. I don't know what that means, but, like, <laughs> I'm not sure if we could actually, like, battle with him in an open world, you know? Yeah. But, I, I would assume, like, if they did keep using Desmond, I mean, it makes sense that it's Desmond. They would have to make a game of Desmond. Well, like, um, I would get I into think that. People are tired of him just yeah. because he is the vessel. He yeah, but like, it kind of makes sense, so. I mean, like, um, I never really had that much of a problem with Desmond. With Desmond. Admittedly, I think the only reason why I got still more, in, like, still okay with his character in a way is because, like, Characters with like uh, Sean and Rebecca, who are absolutely brilliant characters, all accompanying him. Uh, other than that, if it was just Desmond alone, I would be like, "Yeah, this is kind of boring." <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but like, one could say that like with Sean and Rebecca being assassins, that maybe they could also play parts in the game as well. Right. So, like, come Assassin's Creed Four, it may not just be Desmond assassin, but like also theirs as well if they actually wanted to go in that direction. It would be kind of difficult to do, I think. Also, um, maybe Sean wouldn't work because I remember him saying that he did, doesn't really have any ancestors that are assassins. He just kind of started doing it himself. Right. I don't know, maybe he just went mad. <laughs> <laughs> All British guys go mad ev eventually. But that would kind of make sense to me. It's like, um, and I don't really, they never really, um, unless they literally are like, let's kill off Desmond and just randomly go to somebody else. <laughs> yeah, I don't oh, know. For no rhyme or reason. could take his place in the series. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I would assume that the next game, if there is going to be a next game, and I'm assuming there will be, because it... It's kind of like Halo, it just it hasn't run out of steam yet, and people yeah. really like it. Um, well, like, um, it would be set. They, they said that they plan on making Assassin's Creed 4, and that Assassin's Creed 4 character could possibly be a female. But we'll get into that later. But like, um, as for Assassin's Creed 3, you got to think that there's a part, it's very possible that there are going to be spin-off games to this as well. Hmm. Like I Assassin's Creed Free Brotherhood? Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Maybe. Like even more brotherhood. We'll see. Or the tribe. Maybe Assassin's Creed Tribe. No. Yes, that actually might be a good title. <laughs> <laughs> because Indians, well, they, they, they yeah, run around I, in a tribe. I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> did, um, did you know that we're yeah, going to be playing an yeah, Indian? Yeah, yes! <laughs> What is Native American? Oh, right. That that's what we call politically <laughs> correct. <laughs> Thoughts on Assassin's Creed Three? Um, I don't know even what to expect. I haven't. I've only watched a couple of gameplay trailers and I think it's going to be good. Yes. Though. It's like the moves look hard to execute, but it but it's going to be a completely new formula. Right. I mean, like um. It has a lot more abilities that, and yeah, a lot I mean of them like he's nothing. replace other ones. Yeah, that he's were like a completely different from uh, 
Altair Alter and Ezio. You still have the Hidden Blade, but from my understanding, it's not the main the focus. Main, yeah. the, the Tomahawk, which looks like a pretty brutal weapon in and of itself. Um, and, like, the moves seem, like, more interesting to execute. He has a completely different move, so... And you could go through the forest, you could kill animals. Look at that. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay, a fox. <laughs> <laughs> killing foxes. <laughs> Beats killing humans. <laughs> <laughs> what? I like killing humans. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> um, Wait, are you serious? No. Oh, okay. Chocolate milk. Chocolate <laughs> <laughs> milk. Um. So, Connor, not our Connor, but the Connor in Assassin's Creed yes. 3, what do we say about him? Um, I still, honestly, again, like, as for the, the character, it's like, his gameplay looks awesome. I think it's right. going to be the best gameplay game of Assassin's Creed today. Right. However, I think his character, first impressions, I haven't really heard him talk much, but I think he's going to be like, kind of like, a little bit boring, too serious, mm, you know, I just think I'm going to like so Ezio more. Mo so it's going to be kind of like Altair where most of the story yeah. is going to come through all the other characters and not actually... Well, like, um, I'm sure his character yeah. will still play a big part in it, but it's just like, um, I don't think it's going to be as relatable as, uh, as Ezio, I just think it's going to be like one of those stone-cold dram dramatic characters. Yeah, I know which one. I mean, I could be wrong, you know? <laughs> Strong, silent type or whatever. You know, I could be wrong, but it's like, um... And I'm sure there will be still comic relief in the game. Right. But mainly through Desmond and Sean and Rebecca. <laughs> that's like... Right. Because it's just so funny. <laughs> but it's just like, I could be wrong. And I can't believe that's one of my complaints, my free complaints. It's like, Connor seems too serious! <laughs> <laughs> Story is too serious. <laughs> Connor's not funny enough. <laughs> Wait, which Connor? I don't no. think Connor would ever be funny. No, the, th <laughs> <laughs> no, the Assassin's Creed Connor. Oh, okay. Um, is that all you have to say about that? Um, well, like, what else do you have to say about it? I, once again, like I said, I haven't watched yeah. uh, very many trailers to know the characters, so. Um, what, from what I understand from its origins, it's kind of similar to SEO. His tribe gets killed okay, by yeah. Templars. Uh, he gets the assassin suit as a gift, and then he, like, so makes his bow. So it sort of becomes bow. revenge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think, again, it's like, um, just like the other two, his motivation is on revenge. Mm -hmm. Wasn't it? I think Altair's uh, motivation kind was of. on revenge as well. Oh, it was kind of redeeming himself. Redeeming, okay. Because he yeah, got his he got his friend killed or whatever. Yeah. Because he was a retard. Um, <laughs> he did something stupid. Well, so in other words, like, um, his his origin seemed kind of similar to Ezio in a way, and I'm not right. sure if that's a positive or a negative, but, um, but then again, where else would you go? If it's like, know. because due to the fact that it wouldn't be believable that it's like, he's just an assassin because, <laughs> like, um, his, the motivation just seems logical to make it revenge. Right. And I think from my understanding is, like, you don't really pick a side in the game as well. You could eat, you could kill and fight against, uh, either Republicans or Americans. I, I mean, like... <laughs> Republicans or Democrats? The, the right red! Um, <laughs> either uh, British American, or British Americans. British or Republicans? <laughs> Apparently Republicans are British. Some of them are. <laughs> that, yeah. You are. I'm, I'm not British. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that didn't even make any sense. But... That's my whole opinion on Connell in general. It's, I guess it is too soon to say. I don't. I. I know they got a lot take, taken a lot of things out. Like um, you will no longer get the Brotherhood. I'm not sure uh, about. You, I'm not sure about. On. Yeah. <laughs> not sure about like building your own economy. I think you could buy things at the store, but uh, I don't think you could like actually own stores anymore. Right. Um. 
Another little trivia thing. Benjamin Franklin was supposed to be like the Leonardo da Vinci of the game. Mm-hmm. But, uh, like, he would have made weapons for Connor. Right. But that idea had been scratched. So what is... There's not somebody that's like that in this I game? Don't I, I don't know. I mean, like, I heard it could be possible that it was that George Washington who could be that Well, guy. they're making DLC where he... I yeah. thought George Washington was the bad guy or something. Yeah, something like that. That's just a small little DLC that... It's like, I guess it's just one of those things that's like, this is supposed to be a joke, don't take it seriously. Right. Like, Abraham Lincoln was a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> George <laughs> Washington was, was a awesome. king. <laughs> king Washington. I mean, like, that, I, know, I probably won't get the DLC. Will you get the DLC? I don't know. I won't even be getting the game the day it comes out because I'm poor. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> You should get a job. <laughs> I'm I'm trying, not very hard, but I'm trying. I'm get I'm getting Halo. Hey, hey, the who, who, next who game I'm getting is Halo Four. Who, okay, okay. Women's so Troy really walked out of his house. <laughs> I, that, I never do that. <laughs> get that that's what that's, that's, that's the that's joke. joke. <laughs> Cause you never you never walk out of your house. <laughs> Surely that's funny. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> How will Assassin's Creed end? Like, I don't know. When is it? When are they gonna start making them? Well, we skipped Assassin's Creed Four. Uh, we talked about Assassin's Creed Four. Um, what do you want to say about Assassin's Creed Four? Want to talk about how it could possibly be in Japan and the character could be a female? Uh, is this a, is this has somebody said this before? Uh, yeah, because um, the idea of well, Assassin's well, would this be? Where would this be set? When would I this be China set? I think China, or I think around World War Two and or World War One, either China or Japan. I don't know. I get so confused. Um, but like, I'm, I'm not sure if you know this. Actually, this isn't completely false. But like, they were considering about having a woman playable for Assassin's Creed Three. Shit, there's a. Uh, there was a woman. Female character. Yeah, but like she's a PSP uh, exclusive. Yeah, it's PS Vita or whatever. And I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Again, it's one of those things that I don't know what they're going to do. Maybe it's going to be Which one of those things that, it? like, um, well, in, how would Desmond fit into who? Would Desmond be able to play as both of them? Or will Rebecca play as that character? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. That's where I get confused. It's like. Well, you should watch a Let's yeah. Play of. The, that one. <laughs> yeah, well, Liberation or whatever. It's yeah, it's called Liberation. Uh, it's called Assassin's Creed Free Libera Liberation, which is Assassin's Creed Free, kind of like a, kind of like a scenario type of. Well, not a scenario. It's like um, because they're happy simultaneously apparently. Oh. But I just don't understand what how like uh she could be a part of the future when Desmond could own. If, like, she hits twin or something? I don't know. Uh, maybe I could just watch the Let's Play when it comes out. Oh, so we could get a PSP no. and Vita. get PS Vita. They're the same thing! No, they're not. <laughs> it's like, and, and he could just, uh, give it to me. No. <laughs> get a job. Wait a time. <laughs> but, Wait a time. Um, we were talking about, like, the, yeah, how it could possibly be a Chinese or Japanese female character. I'm not sure of the time spot. I'm guessing it could be World War One or World War Two because that's when it could have worked the best. And, like, um, come Assassin's Creed Five, maybe it could be modern era, and that's when you could actually play as Desmond. Right. Because that's how it would make sense to me. Come the final game, you play as Desmond. Right. And then, um... Go for him at the storyline, win, save the world, and then die. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, all the ones that you've played it up until now, they make like 200 to 200-year <laughs> jumps between them, basically. So I figured, you know, at the end of this one, the one, the one set in, like, American Revolution or whatever, yeah. That it would just go I mean, like, straight to modern day, but I don't know. Well, sure. kind of like due to the fact that um, I don't really want them to go to back, go back to America because it's like they're doing America now, and I would like to see another country. Right. And then 
does matter. Well, it wouldn't necessarily have to be America. Yeah. It would just be present day somewhere. True. True. You could go to Africa, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Um, what would be a great place to go? Oh, the North Pole! Wow. <laughs> Uh, what, what, you don't think that's a good idea? No. Oh, okay. Next topic. <laughs> How will it end? Uh, basically, I just think we'll end with Desmond having that final battle against the Stroko. Stopping the... Yeah. Against what? They will stop the Templars or whatever? Yeah, against the Templars. They, they will have all the little thing the to apple, eat. The apples. apples. That's right. And then they will save everybody. And then Desmond will, like... Either get married to a girl of his dreams, who she's dead, so I don't think that <laughs> or he would die. <laughs> it would be much more emotionally better if he died. <laughs> I suppose. Right. I don't. I don't really have anything else to say about that. <laughs> I'm not sure how the old son thing would work if it ever happened. So. Yeah, they don't really. I guess they explain it, explain it a little bit better in Revelations to the end. What part? The final cutscene. You mean then what? In Revelations, the, what happened yeah. at the end of Brotherhood? Yeah. Um. Well, like I don't really think they mentioned that much at the end of Brotherhood. <laughs> I don't really think about. I don't. I still don't think they talk about why Lucy had to die. Because the alien said so. Alien is a bitch. Yes, yes she is. Uh, uh. Now to now to wrap this up, Toy. What man do you think of when you think of Assassin's Creed? What? What, what man do I think yeah. of? Yeah, Ezio. Really? What I, about Stan Lee? I, that has nothing to do with <laughs> Assassin's Creed whatsoever. Dude, without Stan Lee. Where, where would where would Assassin's Creed be? I don't know. Is is exactly, Assassin's Creed heavily he inspired <laughs> by Spider Man? Because <laughs> Stanley is an inspiration for life. That's it. That's good to know. I mean, like, if there was no Stanley, where would you be? I I don't know. Exactly, you would be poor. Yes, sad, lonely. No, I am poor. <laughs> you would be poor. Poor. Poorer. <laughs> Why are we talking about Stan Lee? Because we gotta respect him. What? The th <laughs> you think so? It's, it's like, pay respects to Stan Lee. Makes him sound like he's dead. I don't understand why it says that. Why does the list say respects to Stan Lee? Because, because we, we mentioned him in Avengers, and then we mentioned him in Batman, and now we'll mention We always him. have to talk about Stan Lee. Well, whenever we do anything before something comes out, yes, we gotta bring up Stanley. <laughs> hey, um, I got a question. I'm not sure if you know this. Um, before we kind of wrap up, which comes first, the presidential election or Twilight? What do you mean? Because that those are going to be the next projects. I don't remember. I don't remember when uh, Twilight comes. Presidential out. debate. The Why are we going to talk about Twilight? Awesome. <laughs> what, the, so the trailer made it look awesome. No, no, you it gotta understand. It still has terrible you CGI and the plot is stupid. It's the final movie. I we need to insult it. Oh, <laughs> good point. You want to be that one? Should I flip what? a coin? I. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, I'd rather just listen to that one. I don't have anything to say about it. All right. Well. Wait, 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 wait. What did you say? Oh, uh, presidential debate. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Um, okay. That one, we're going to bring Spencer back for that one. I'm not sure, sure if you want to do that. No, probably not. Of course not, because uh, you, you're Everyone afraid that you're... Me. <laughs> well, like, you're afraid you're going to offend people. You probably. <laughs> I'm voting for a white guy. How dare you? Right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, you but lots yeah. of white guys to vote um, for. Just saying, like... I, Obama's you know how half white. <laughs> I don't... I, well, maybe. <laughs> well, maybe. No, you think I pay attention? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying. Do you offended me? <laughs> <laughs> well, like um, I just Poison. wanted to point out quickly that I'm not sure if we're <coughs> going to do this or not, but like, 
You know how we're all going to see Wreck and Ralph together because we're a big when happy come family. Out? November second. I need money. Yeah, you know what? I, I guess I could like. Tickets. Yeah, I guess I can. I but paid like, for myself to see Looper, right? I don't yeah. remember. Uh, you you did. Um, <laughs> but like um, if <coughs> Spencer suggests because we were thinking about doing it kind of a before one, but then we're like. Wouldn't it make sense if we did this one after? So, uh, if we like Freck and Ralph very much, we're thinking about doing a uh, podcast on it, kind of more of a review than a pre okay. uh, thoughts. Yeah. And um, I'm not sure if we'd like just have everyone or just two or three people. I'm thinking about like actually having everyone because it would just be four people and not five because five is too many. Yeah. Five um, guys is too many. <laughs> so. Yeah, we're going to be seeing wreck and Ralph on November 2nd. No guarantees on if we're going to actually take the time to podcast on it. <laughs> it, will be more, it will be more of a four or three man review. Right. And it, um, that will be that. And then, like, uh, coming up, we're going to be bringing Spencer back. And, we'll, and before the election hits, we're going to basically give our final thoughts on uh, the election. Then maybe after it, we'll do another video basically uh, congratulating the winner because nobody cares. <laughs> and um, then comes Twilight. <laughs> like, I'm looking forward to Twilight. No. <laughs> I, might, I might do that one by myself. I'm not sure. <laughs> maybe. I mean, like, unless Troy well, wants, to be, maybe a, for you. Troy no. wants to be a nice no. guy. I need to go to the bathroom. No, that's... That's nice. Wrap, wrap this up. <laughs> okay, so we're going, we're actually, yeah, uh, we're going to say goodbye, Troy, say what you are. Uh, eternal. Alright, goodbye. I didn't, I didn't want to say that. <laughs> Why did you make me say that? Because total. <laughs> then you wouldn't have any more on this. This is the test. Is this oh, a test? Oh, I'm going to do this. Oh, yeah. okay, well, we were talking oh, about... Oh, then, then, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, sing test, oh, sing test. Troy, I'm going to make you sing. Oh, we need to, we need to be like right next to it. Okay. Maybe, sort of. Well, I thought this microphone was epic. Well, it can't. Well, it, it can be, but I just figure it's better to be closer to it. Okay. Oh, I suck it. <laughs> what? Suck on the microphone? Did we try this already? Uh, yeah. You should, you should sing a song. I'm gonna make you sing for uh, the Lady of the Rock comedy. No, no. Yes, yes, speak what you Come on, you're playing Hunchback. Rock a bye, baby, <laughs> the I'm tired. <laughs> when the wind blows, you blow.